All right, well, howdy folks. Welcome to Elevate. And um, more specifically, welcome back to my gorgeous backyard. Here in sunny winter Queensland countryside. And here's my mate Bobby's come for a visit. Hey Bobby. Well, thanks for joining in today, folks. I appreciate you spending your time. Uh, excuse the sunnies, but it's very, very bright out here today. Do you know that desire is one of the key factors in moving forward in terms of manifesting and attracting with the law of attraction? A well-harnessed desire, using desire in the way that the universe responds to, is one of the most powerful ways of manifesting your dreams into reality and manifesting your very own reality. But did you know that an unchecked or an unharnessed or an unbridled desire can actually be the ruination of the law of attraction. If you're trying to apply these principles in your life, you're trying to attract the life that you desire and move forward into that, then stick around because today we're chatting about how to keep your desires in check, what power and what role they have in your life and where they need to be. So this will be a good one. Stick around. Well, again, welcome back. It's an absolute pleasure to spend some time with you today, folks. I appreciate you stopping by and spending your time with me, as always. So, desire. What do we know about desire? Well, we know that desire can be healthy and unhealthy. But did you know that a man's desire, or a woman's desire, can actually block the flow of attraction in their life? How can this be, you might think? Where are you going, Bobby? my cat Bobby. Well, it can be very easy folks. You see, the thing with desire is this. When desire is in check, it's the most powerful force we have to establish and employ our emotions and our feelings to drive forward and manifest, to attract universal powers to us. To do that, desire must live in the heart. You see, from our heart flow the issues of life. From our heart comes a wellspring of life. What we desire and what we seek, when it pours out from the heart, we receive back in through the heart. And this is the key and foundational difference, and I want you to grab a hold of this, folks. Desire only lives in two places. Desire lives in our head, or it lives in our heart, never in both. And this is actually a key principle to the law of attraction, but you never really hear it spoken about much. If you get hold of this, if you establish and understand the difference of where desire is living in your life, you can then begin to see where your desire is going and where your power is flowing. And here's how to tell. When desire lives in the head, it manifests almost in a sense of, I mean, I want to say jealousy, but it, I mean, it's really not jealousy, but I hope you understand what I'm trying to convey here. When desires live in our heads, when we desire something with all of our head and all of our mind and we focus on it with our mind, let's say, for example, we're desiring a promotion at work. We might be desiring our dream overseas holiday to travel the world. We might be desiring a brand new car or favour to find our life partner. When we desire with our head, our head begins to get in the way. You see, our head is full of subconscious thoughts and programmings and all the stories we've told ourselves for the duration of our lives that we don't even recognize have powerful implications in our life today. But boy, do they. You know, I talk often about retelling the story of your life. Desires in the head receive information from the deep subconscious. Programming that might say, you're never going to lose that weight you desire because you've always been fat. I know what that sounds like. I was the fat kid all my life. Perhaps you saw the video I put up a week or two ago about my story in losing weight and how I use the law of attraction to manifest this, uh, this body you see now. So I currently weigh about half of what I used to. I'm uh, 69 kilos. I used to be 121 or 122 and was that for a long time. And I didn't exercise or diet or gym or anything. It was just 
fundamental understanding of the law of attraction and implementing that power in my life. Go and have a look at the video if you're at all interested. It might help you on your journey. But see, desire in the head would say, no, Ben, you've always been fat. That's never going to happen. Or desire in the head might even portray itself in a positive manner. Desire in the head might say, yeah, you can do it, and this is how. You've got to diet like this, you've got to exercise like that, you've got to go and get personal training, you've got to go to the gym five days a week, two times a day, you've got to have protein this, you've got whatever it might be. Laws, rules, things like that ain't going to cut it, folks. The law of, the tra of attraction is energy. It is power flowing and it runs through emotion. What are our emotions? They're energy in motion. So when desire lives in our head, it's almost like jealousy. Our head starts to calculate and computate ways that we can get ahead. Do you see what's happening here? Our head is trying to make the progress. Our head is trying to dictate where we go because it thinks it knows best. Our head is telling us the stories of our life past and trying to tell the story of our life future. Whereas when desire lives in the heart, it's a very pure thing. It's a very pure, beautiful intention. It's magnetic. It attracts. It doesn't repel because the heart never races off ahead. The heart walks hand in hand with the universal power, with God, with your higher self. The heart communes with your higher self. And this is where true desire lives. You see, in the heart, when we desire that weight loss, when we desire that promotion, that dream job, our new home, when we desire that in and with our heart, the universe will then correspond to the sound of that song. The universe will see the purity of the intention of our heart and begin to bring about change in us and the very world we live in so that these things might manifest. You see, the key here, folks, is getting the desire from your head, recognising that it's in your head. When you see and feel your desires and you feel, OK, look, I really desire to buy uh, this fancy new car. So here's what I'm going to do. This is my plan. I'm going to get this second job and I'm going to save this much money and then I'm going to do this. And then I'm going to... No, no, folks, that's the head. That's the head. It's trying to be helpful, but it just ain't. So put it on the shelf and let it sink down into that precious, precious heart space of yours. Ask the universe, ask the angels to guide you and to help you, and they will. They will respond. Get that desire in your heart. And when you feel a burning from within... When you think about that promotion, when you think about that new car, when you think about that relationship, that new body, when you feel it like a burning on the inside, that's how you know it's in your heart space. That's how you know you're attracting and manifesting from your heart space. That's how you get to a new set point and start raising your vibration and manifesting and seeing your dreams come true. Desire in your heart, folks. Don't desire in your head. Well, I hope this has been of some benefit to you folks. I really enjoy these little chats we have, so if you've liked it, um, I'd be humbled if you'd consider subscribing to the channel or maybe share the video with someone else who might be looking for something like this. But from myself and from my mate Bobby the Cat. Hi Bobby, is it lunchtime? We reckon it's lunchtime folks, so we're out of here. God bless and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.